Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at a couple of notebooks from a brand uh, that I was uh, in touch with on uh, social media, Instagram, and that is Odyssey. So this is the Odyssey uh, notebooks, uh, and I have two beautiful notebooks to show you today, both with different kinds of paper. I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the size and stuff of each one, uh, and then we're gonna do a little, I'll show you some writing samples and things I have done. Um, so let's start with uh, let's start with the the Achilles uh, book here. So this is an A5 size notebook. This uses a premium paper, uh, and it is um, a you know sort of a, a hardcover sort of vegan leather cover. Uh, and as I said Odyssey is from the US, and so they uh, get these made with beautiful quality paper. You can see it's a you know sort of a a binding that allows for a lay flat binding, so it's not got a, a hard spine binding, it's flexible. It's got a simple elastic around the front and this uh, embossing there of um, Achilles, there's the song of Achilles. So, uh, two different ribbons. Let's have a bit of a look. Nice rounded corners. Pages just slightly offset from the edge of the notebook, which uh, allows, you know, good protection for them. There's very, there's no branding as such on the outside of the book other than the embossing on the front. Um, there's a number of these that come in this, uh, I think it's like the Greek mythology set. The elastic is nice and thick, not too tight, um, and yeah, it performs very well. What I have here is the uh, white dot grid paper, um, and uh, as I said, it's A5 A5 size, standard A5 size, and this is 160 GSM paper. Um, if you're familiar with Archer and Olive, um, it is the same paper that Archer and Olive use, just a slightly different page count. Let's uh, flip to the back and uh, we'll talk a little bit about this particular book. So, this is the A5 Premium 160 GSM Paper Journal in the Song of Achilles finish. This retails for 29 US dollars, which I think is a fantastic price point. It has 192 dot grid pages and is a simple 5 mil dot. It's got a pocket in the back, nice easy access uh, pocket there for all your papers, receipts, whatever you're wanting to carry. As I said, two ribbons in different uh, colors, as you can see down the bottom here. An elastic band around the front and this lay flat binding. Now the lay flat binding does mean that your book will basically lay open. You do have to sometimes sort of, you know, um, push the pages down. That is standard with any kind of notebook, but once you do, it lays pretty flat. And the binding kind of does that. Um, and that's, allows that beautiful lay flat binding. It's really nice. Really nice quality uh, and nice design features. As a vegan leather hardcover. Same paper uh, and dot format as Archer and Olive, but 30 more pages in this with 192 pages. As I said, it is US based. So I've done some writing samples over here with um, a few different sorts of pens. Fountain pen, a Pilot Erosuzuku Kujaku in the Pilot Custom 823 with a broad nib, nice big wet nib. Um, Monteverde Chameleon in Pelican M200 in a fine, which acts more like a medium because it is Pelican. And then Robert Oster Perth Inc. from the Australian City Series in a Pilot Custom Heritage 92 with a fine medium nib, uh, which is on the finer side. I've also written here with Noodler's Base State Blue in a Jinhao 992 with a fine nib, as well as a rollerball, well, a Retro 51 rollerball, a Lamy rollerball, a Pilot G2 gel pen, a ballpoint pen, I've gone over that with a highlighter, Tombow Mono 2B pencil, and I've gone to erase that, and that's erased very well, and a Sharpie. Now, if we look at the reverse of that page, n the Sharpie barely even comes through. Like, it's come through a couple of spots, but in comparison to lighter weave paper, this performs really, really well. Um, I'm just gonna pull up my little Archer and Olive test page here just to show you. Um, and you can see here, uh, once again, with a range of different sorts of pen, um, you know, Sharpies, highlighters, all that kind of stuff, it all performs really well. So it's the same quality paper. So if you're familiar with Archer and Olive, this is something you should look at. Um, I think it's a really, really nice option. Looking up nice and close, you can see there's no feathering. One of the comments I see a lot about uh, Archer and Olive paper is that it feathers like crazy. If this is the same paper, I don't see any feathering um, or not enough to really mention. It's really good. The paper has a slight tooth on it, but it's fairly smooth. It's not smooth like Clairefontaine, uh, but it's also not perhaps as um, textured, say, as something like Midori. 
it's nice. It's got a good, you know, a, a good sort of writing surface on it. And because of that lack of show through, you really can write on both sides of this page, uh, which makes it great for bullet journaling. If you're one of these people that bullet journals with things like markers or even the Sakura pigment uh, marker things, this is a really, really good paper. And the dot grid allows that beautiful bullet journal system. Um, so this is a really nice option. And at that price point of 29 US dollars, I think this is a really, really, really good option. Let's now have a look at uh, the other book I have here. So this is the uh, Black Hole uh, Tomo River Notebook. Um, and beautiful design. There's a bunch of these, once again, in different colors. Both of these come in a range of different colors with a slightly different design element. You can go to their website. I'll link uh, to it below in the description. Um, and you can just check out, see what they, uh, what they have. So the black hole is the black. It's got this really cool graphic on the front. Nice accented ribbon uh, elastic cover, uh, elastic band, so I should say, there. So once again, this has the rounded corners. Now, this is not quite A5. Um, once again, I'll just pull up alongside the Archer and Olive A5. You can see it is slightly, just ever so slightly shorter than A5. Um, it's, a, it's about eight millimeters shorter, which we'll get to in just a second, but pretty sort of good size. Um, and it's Tom River paper. So let's flip to the back um, and we can see there some of the information. I'll grab that in a second right here. So this is a 400 page Tomo River Notebook. And this is the black hole version. 400 pages. Now those are numbered. You can see there on the bottom, 400. That is pages, not sheets, 200 sheets. $42 for this notebook. So it's a little more than the, uh, than the uh, premium notebook, but it is Tomo River paper. It comes in five millimeter dot, seven millimeter lined, which is what this is, or blank. So 400 number pages, 68 GSM Tomo River paper. We do. I pref 68 GSM Tomo River is my personal favourite. Um, it once again has lay flat binding. So if we open up to the middle here, you can see just with a little bit of gentle, you know, sort of um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like manipulation, shall we say? It sits pretty flat because it's got that same kind of flexible binding in there. So like the Achilles book, it's sewn in signatures and then sort of glued and bound. And then they put this over the top and it's not attached, it's not hard, so it can sit really flat. It's the same, well, not, it's different, but it's a vegan leather cover. So this is 202 millimeters by 148 millimeters, which is eight millimeters shorter than A5. So normal A5 is 210 millimeters. So just a little bit. It has a ribbon, which uh, I haven't actually got that ribbon out yet. So simple, well, two ribbons. There we go, accented colors, very nice. Back pocket once again, same as the other notebooks, uh, and an elastic band. So these are made in, I said, or well, based in Maryland in the US, so it's good. We're seeing some good things here. Let's talk about the performance of the paper. So once again, same inks and pens as the Achilles, uh, Pilot Custom Made 23 with the Rochizuku, Montevideo Chameleon, Robert Oster Perth, Base State Blue, Retro 51 Rollable, Lamy Rollable, Pilot G2 Gel Pen, Ballpoint Pen, Highlighter, Tombow Mono, Erased. Uh, and reasonably well, Tombow River is okay for erasing because it's a very smooth paper. And then the Sharpie marker. Now let's look at the reverse. So here we see some interesting things. The fountain pens don't come through. There is definitely show through. You can see right through that paper. It's a very light paper. Noodles Base 8 Blue starts to come through. There are actually points with the roller ball, both the Lamy and the Retro 51, where they start to come through. Highlighter, all that is fine. And of course, the Sharpie comes through. So this paper, Tomo River is fountain pen friendly. It performs well with fountain pens, but 400 pages kind of means you get 200 writing pages because it is most people, well, if show through is fine for you, then this is absolutely fine. If you can, if you don't enjoy show through, you can actually see like what has been written on the on the page, you know, behind. So we can see Pilot Custom Heritage there. We can see Pilot Custom Heritage through that sheet. So it's very clear, uh, lots of ghosting, but there is no feathering and there is very little bleed. Even when that roller ball, those roller balls and things, you know, sort of peek through the paper, 
it's only very slight. Uh, it's not full bleeding uh, like you would see on, say, like a fountain pen on a student lecture pad or something like that. Design elements I love across these notebooks are simple things like that lay flat binding that opens out so nicely. This is a durable kind of material for notebook covers. The fact that it's rounded corners, which means that you're less likely to get things banged up, it's less sharp, also set back slightly, which allows you the, you know, the protection of that little bumper barrier you know, in your bag and things like that. Also, both have tons of pages. Like we are talking 192 writable pages because you, it doesn't come through, or 400 pages or 200, you know, if you want, want to, only want to write on one side. And they're pretty decent prices. I think the $29 for the Achilles is amazing, and 42 is about what you would expect for the Tomo River. Now, they also do other things. I got sent a couple of things uh, with this uh, parcel of books, and a big thank you to Odyssey Notebooks for sending these out for review, by the way. Um, I think they both perform really, really well. I think they're both excellent notebooks. Um, I love the paper in the Song of Achilles book here, but uh, Tom or River, if you're gonna write with fountain pens, it's kind of like the go-to. And because of Tom or River, they have these, which are, I couldn't find on the website, um, but it's a little sort of 48-page, um, just slightly short A5 uh, little, you know, staple bound soft cover notebook. Um, so that, that same 68 GSM, 7 millimeter lined Tomo River paper. It's nice. It's these kinds of simple notebooks uh, that are really, really handy. If you do think, if you use things like uh, those, um, like the Lockby Field Journal, for instance, this would be a great addition into that. Just slip it into one of those notebooks as part of the organizing system of that. Um, it's really, really nice. But one thing that really, really impresses me is this. This is just a simple pocket notebook, but it's got this like, it's it's stitch bound, so which I really enjoy. It's kind of like this soft vegan leather cover. And it comes in a huge range of colors. Look on the website, there are tons and tons of colors. It's really impressive. Nice, simple branding on the back. I should say there's also branding uh, on the back of the Toma River notebook. Um, which I'm absolutely fine with. Um, but what I love on here is the embossing of the little uh, spacecraft um, there, like it ties in so well with the Odyssey name and all of that. I think that's really nice. And it's durable, like, and it's it's Tom River paper. It's 68 GSM Tom River paper, and I have it in the dot grid here. This is like, I've been carrying this, and it's, there's no marks on it. It's not dented. It's a little bit, like, curled. But how cool is that? Like, so, and these are, I think, $8 each from memory. Eight US dollars, yeah. And it's the 3.5 by 5.5 size, so it's field note size. Um, 72 pages of dot grid paper. Like, really, really phenomenal. This is the sort of product I really, really enjoy because this is great for, like, these are the everyday products that you kind of, well, personally, I uh, rely upon in my everyday sort of life. But these are the stars of the show, and these are beautiful. Great Tom River notebook, great premium paper, Nice covers, nice designs. Check out Odyssey Notebooks um, and support a small company that's doing some really nice things. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce and please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there is a way you would like to support my channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. Once again, a big, big thank you to Odyssey Notebooks for sending these notebooks out for review. They are lovely and uh, I hope you can jump on board and support this company as well. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.